This people is different. I even gave to Paco some sets because he was always asking me whenever we met it, what's about new strains and that. And well, thanks to my friend Lorenzo Lamana and Rocco, Italian guys also who live in Canada, and I came to know uh, Rocco brought me some of these strings to my place 10, 12 years ago when I lived in Canada. And uh, I tried this Nile God concept because before you know you have to kill cats to, to play violin or guitar. And these people is really very interesting. Now they launched the newer uh, sugar, made, yeah, made with sugar strings, which is this red basis. And the, the trams are really. Look, I tell you one thing, strings are very particular for every instrument different. But I just tried this today on my best guitar. For instance, here well of course I use any particular combinations because I like always different combining different things, you know, but in this case, I put I put all the bases of the of the high tension uh, sugar aquila strings, and also third, second, and for the first the string I used uh, this sepito, all the sepito line because they have different things, and you know I used to prefer this for the first string. It went much better than this guitar is. This is the originality of the thing because it's Aquila, which means eagle. That is one of the of the older packages they have. And you, you see, look, it, it flies, right? It's, it's an eagle. So beautiful design, very interesting things, and of course differentiation. For those who like to experiment with different things, uh, which are non non-conformist. 
this brand has some very high quality things and in fact this 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 paste this bordeaux is a paste and the particularly the, the, the timber the tone that you get with the sugar uh, travels Second string travel. The third is also a masterpiece, at least for this guitar. And I am sure uh, for many others would be a great string to, to try to explore about. So you should definitely try them. Uh, as I said, this is the sugar. I don't know if it is already because Mr. Nimo Perufo, the person who is director of this this uh, enterprise sent me this kindly to, to show me what was the newer thing there and you know uh, it's always important to to know which guitar you are using on and which kind of effect you want but definitively this 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 new uh, sugar travel thing is it's just incredible <laughs> From the from the other strings I used also either uh, I never liked it the, the first or second string so generally travels of carbon uh, are not very nice the tone of, of what we play at least maybe for classical guitar are great but I think this here and another thing is that there is some misunderstanding about the the uh, people saying that in, for flamenco you don't need sustain. Who said that? This Paco never said that. This is the old school. That it has to be a percussive guitar, that's why it's Cypress, and, it, and therefore the strings have to be also uh, non-sustained strings. Who said that? That is, that is totally wrong. And in fact these strings have the best sustain. <laughs> that like this it doesn't turn well look uh, there is a range there on the brands on, on what which strings tune but you have to also see if it's not that you have the fretboard wrong <laughs> because maybe it's your fretboard that is wrong and then you're saying the string doesn't tune or anything so uh, this travels specifically the sugar new sugar at least what I use now on this guitar here all the strings except the first string that I got this instead. Uh, the first, the second, and, and third strings here. This travel have a sublime tuning. Sublime. This tuning is just amazing. And then I, I guess it will it will last a lot also because this is this is the only one in the world the thicker third string that I have seen sound with a beautiful tone actually and ever since Savares came, uh, came out came to the, uh, out to the market with the with the carbon fiber thing that was a, a great discovery actually in the history of, of nylon string you know that, that these were used actually to to fish <laughs> the DuPont company in 1930 I think it was uh, Indians were doing these things for, fi for fishing, uh, strings for fishing. 
and then uh, well, someone had the idea this, has to, this could be for the guitar players. Let's tell them about them. And then uh, I think Einstein was the first one that that uh, started with this nylon string business. But ever since the 50s or 60s, strings have evolved so much. And these people here of the Acola company, Italian company, are really doing an amazing job because they tried with different materials, also from plants, uh, that this Nile God combination, which is emulating, you know, the the intestines gods of the of the cat before, but it sounds actually much better. My line against bio is at all <laughs> anyway, but the thing is that uh, for different purposes, because sometimes I need guitars that, that needs certain kind of, of sound on the solo, for instance, of a, of a particular piece. I love to use that set, the second of the of the nylon god um, high tension thing because it, it gives just very nice uh, timber. The voice it has is totally different. So then, therefore, different materials and different uh, concepts of sound according to, to what you need for for certain compositions or certain pieces uh, are well just uh, an amazing amount of different choices that you can have nowadays, which before we could not even dream of having these things, right? So it's a very valuable thing and I really recommend you to try this uh, sugar uh, new basses and travels also because you know we need to, to see on, on your guitar how it fits, of course, because that is another thing that this is high quality string, for sure. But what I'm saying is that for every guitar, there is a particular kind of strings, material and tension, which goes much better. There cannot be given a general advice like this is good, this is good, this is, good. This is for tourists. It's not a, a real thing. Because why? You have to consider the, the guitar you have, if it is hard or not, but or it's soft to play by nature itself, the guitar. So even the season in winter is one thing, in summer is another. Also the strength of your pulsation or how you play, what is your strength playing, etc. These, all, these things have to be done. What do, what do you want? Right? Because if you want a metallic sound, then carbon is okay. Or, or like I felt was a bit similar, on the, at least on this first try, I, I got on the first string of this sugar thing. So similar to the carbon sound, right? that's why I, I, I put this instead. But you see, that is very uh, a personal thing to choose also because. But this is incredible that five strings, just totally different concept than anything else in the market. And I can only congratulate Mimo and, and all the team that this has to be an amazing effort to just the research and I am uh, very uh, excited and I do appreciate when, when in the guitar field uh, people try to search for better things. That's how also in AD we came up with the conclusion that these fretboards are much superior for what we play, the main fretboard. The one in front was for classical guitar, right? So of course these changes takes time because uh, to get the knowledge to understand why things can be different, and we don't should not take for granted that nylon strings or anything has been everything invented already, everything is done, and the guitar has to have the only fretboard because this is how the way it is and the way they have done hundred years ago. Yeah, this is just a uh, uh, very uh, non scientific argument. But in the strings, same thing. If you want the same, like all like all people play, then that's that's okay, right? But if you want a different thing, which is of a superior quality, and of course, by this experimenting, trying different tensions and different things, then you can. If I see a guitar, like for instance, some of my students come here and I see what the guitar they have, then I can give an advice very accurate about which string has to use. But unless I have it in my hand, like how I, I can say, I cannot say it, because I don't know 
which, which guitar it is and what do you want with this. Right? For example, for this guitar, we can, I cannot use mid tension, never. In fact, I feel this, these basses, which are uh, of superior to of high tension, uh, I feel them a little bit under that high tension uh, measure of the American strings or of other strings, right? Or German strings or other Italian strings. So think why, because because what they, for instance, for example, uh, let's say uh, the mid tension, the high tension of that was also 30 years ago happening. This thing that uh, 30 years ago the only string or 40 years ago was you know this have this red card, which are to me unusable now, in my opinion, and those there said high tension, but actually if you compare this with the mid tension of say the Adele, the most commercial string, which by the way is 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 just uh, very uh, in average very accurate in tuning and that's why they and, and, and not very expensive and therefore they got a place in the market for that reason. But there are in my opinion many other strings of, of much higher quality, and what to speak of these that are handmade, this is just really the cream of the, of the experimentation and research for a newer sound. That's what I like, of course, it's not for everyone, but it's a very uh, luxury thing to have, to, to have available strings like this, right? And then, of course, to measure things, I did all kind of experiments and you know in, in, in 30 years of playing I have tried everything of everything in every guitar you can imagine because I have owned and played any brand you can imagine of guitars and, and, and of strings. So therefore I am based on my personal experience to tell you that you have to try it yourself. But but now there are very interesting options like this. So try and I am sure you will succeed. Right, because tensions are different in every, in every for every guitar, for every guitar player, and for every string. I told you the, the, the European high tension was not even the mid tension of America. So it's all like the shoes have different, and this here also has its own quality because the bases, of course, the bases are very different to the to the normal nine. Same of the same thing, and it's a bit of a sound more warm. So these ones are great for me, right? But then you use it in different guitars, and then the other guitar maybe goes with other things. But they have, I don't know, ten or nine different models of of, of brands of the of the different things they have designed over the years. Because but, I don't know, but maybe they have uh, over fifteen years or or, or something. Uh, making strings and this is just amazing that the the nylon string guitar is nylon and it's also nylon and it's also sugar and it's also uh, made with plants this is a feeder thing the other natural thing of the plants is also very interesting but this sugar trap is fantastic you have to try it eh, grazie mille a mimo per, per queste corde sono meravigliose veramente hai fatto un lavoro incredibile
again on this guitar the strings of sugar made out of sugar by Aquila Peru Peru for fantastic strings for this guitar and for those who have also the double cutaway model like this here they should definitively try them this is a great uh, guitar and great set of strings so ideally we should have what is matching with, with, our, with our intention, our pulsation and, and how, we, how we play so definitively it's a, such a new concept this sugar try to check this I use actually also the first, for the first string this one here the Zafiro one but this 6th, 4th, 3rd and 2nd are of the sugar made with sugar the, the, the voice they have is incredible tuning is also outstanding so the ahí that you discovered the improvisation the improvisation is something that I think that every musician debería a músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien, Pablo. Sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música. 